Are you looking for a game you can add to your file cabinet for those weird schedule days? This is the perfect way to get some Spanish practice in, in a low stress but super fun way. Plus, it is a free download. Keep watching to learn how to play and to grab what you need. Hey, it's Ashley, aka Senior to Spanish, where I provide easy to use resources to save you time and energy while you're lesson planning. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button, and then I just wanna make sure that you know that links to everything that I mentioned in this video will be down in the description box below. Today I'm going to share the meme game with you. This isn't one that I use to practice any particular verbs, vocabulary, grammar, nothing like that, just Spanish fun. But it's still productive because they're using their Spanish while they're having a good time. It's definitely one you wanna to add to your closet to pull out on those weird schedule days, maybe after testing, or even as a sub plan. Here's how it works. First, you're going to print the meme images. I would suggest using cardstock and laminating them if you have access to those things. Next, you're going to print the situation cards. Again, I would recommend cardstock and laminating just for durability. Trust me, once you've prepped this, your kids are gonna to wanna to play it over and over again, so just, you know, be ready for the long haul. Then you're gonna cut all those cards apart. I personally would make enough sets so you have enough sets for a couple of different groups of students to play. You can have them play in groups as small as three and in groups as large as eight. Really the biggest thing is that everybody just needs to see the card that's in the middle. So I wouldn't go too much bigger than eight, but you can actually play this in a pretty large group and it works just fine. I think groups of four to five are always best just because then it's not so big, but I have had those bigger groups work and they have a blast, so it's up to you. Here's how to play. So the game works a lot like apples to apples if you've ever played that. And there's more detailed instructions in the download for you, but I also wanted to explain here just in case you prefer to learn through video rather than reading the instructions. The judge was just a player. The judge flips over one situation card and reads it out loud. Next, everyone participating except the judge is going to look at their hand and pick out one meme card to submit face down to the judge. Once everybody has submitted a meme card, the judge is going to shuffle them all up, pick them all up, flip them over so they can see them all, and show them all to everyone playing, and then the judge is going to decide which meme card submitted they like the best. Some judges choose the funniest or the most ironic, it's totally up to the judge. So part of playing is knowing what that judge is going to appreciate. The winner of each round keeps the situation card and then the judge role rotates around the group of people playing. You can play as many rounds as you want, so there's a lot of variation here. You could play until one person has three situation cards and they're the winner. You could play till five, you could play a full 10 rounds, or you could just say, hey, we're playing this game until the end of class, right? Lots of flexibility there. Ready to grab it? The download is linked in the description box below. On my site, I have versions in Spanish, French, German, and Italian, as well as an editable version in case you teach a different language and you would like to use this game with your students. I think your students will love this game. Plus, with the editable version, if you wanted to, you could have your students come up with and submit their own situations to play with. If you're gonna give it a try, comment down below and let me know. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. Click subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of all new content that I create for you in the future. And if you are looking for even more games that you can play in your Spanish classes, check out this video right here for you on the screen. It's got 13 review games, which is a ton. 13 review games that you can play with your classes. I'll put it right here for you on the screen. Got it? Okay, I'll see you in the next one.